Hey boys, welcome back to some more Rugby League Live 3. I had to remember what um what it was for a second there, because it's been it's been a long time. But uh yeah, we're back. Back for round two of the Auckland Nines. Tigers v Titans. The old the old sort of announcement screen here. The team banners plummeting to the earth. Um the way the, the team lists go across the, the thing here was it looks okay, but it was always way too quick. I much prefer the way they do it in the new game. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's... Wait, yeah. I was just... I was, I was <laughs> so, I was actually... I thought of something that I thought Rugby League Live 4 didn't have, but then I remembered that it does, so... Thankfully, I didn't say it, otherwise people would have been like, what are you talking about? So, yeah, well, uh, we don't worry about that. I didn't even say it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're attacking pretty strongly here. We probably threw one too many, and then we get the ball back, and then, you know, well, you give it back to the Titans. Uh, we had it for too many sets of hands there. Titans deserved it. Uh, but, yeah, it was. it's good fun to get back onto this game, honestly. Like I said in that first episode, I'd be meaning to... Um, get back to this game and, and do like a, a series on it for, for a while now, but I don't know, sort of finding the time between, you know, if I was doing cricket and then rugby league life four, it was always, it was always sort of tough to, to work around, but we eventually got it done as, uh, Kevin Aguama there gets wrapped up. Kevin Aguama, I do remember, he is like one of the best players in this game, it feels like, is Mitchell Moses. Last tackle spreads it out to Luke Brooks on the wing. Brooksy gets it back to, to Aaron Woods, who is going to get rounded up there. Um, we're looking, starting to get in a little bit of rhythm with this game again. It's so much different. Like, <laughs> it was tough enough as right here we're going to drop it, unfortunately. That's something that they, they did away with in the new game as well. Like, you literally don't drop the ball in Rugby League Live 4. Like, you can throw a forward pass and, like, you can offload it and they'll call it a knock-on occasionally. But you don't... If the ball's on the ground and they try to pick it up, like, in this game especially, and you'll see during the season, like, when we play in the wet weather... Um, that's also as well, I actually like the bomb, like the, the bomb kick in this game, like a fair bit more than the, in Rugby League Live 4, I don't know what it is, but you, you can get actually pretty good depth, like, I, just like, going back to, the, I don't know why, I was so bad this stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, the big hit, I do like the big hit, it doesn't actually, there's a couple of things I, I've got to talk about here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget something, but um, the drop ball you'll see during the season when we play in wet weather, like it was always, I gotta be honest, it was, it got a little bit annoying at times because in wet weather and offload, you would just, you drop it in this game like 90% of the time. Um, but in the, like, it's another thing that I, I'm just, a, it's a bit disappointing because they, they sort of, instead of trying to f like make it more balanced and, you know, more realistic, they just got rid of it. Like... <laughs> It's just a bit weird, like in wet, wet, like Rugby League Live 4, if it's wet weather, like it literally doesn't change the game at all, as uh, we are somehow, we are going to score Luke Brooks finally, get over there, um, and uh, the the bat down works so much easier in this game as well, I can't, I can't get the bat down, <laughs> there's actually, playing this again, it, there, there, are, there definitely are some good stuff and some some better aspects of this game, like the, the bombs, um, contesting the bombs, I prefer, like, the, batting the ball back is, like, so much more, like, it's easier to, to do, it might be a bit too easy, but I sort of like the way it is in this game, um, but yeah, dropping the ball when it's on the ground, in the new game, they just, it just doesn't, like, you don't drop it, like, <laughs> you just don't, you don't, don't drop it when you pick it up, um, whereas in this game, if it's wet weather, especially, uh, you'll just drop it all the time, which was, you know, it, it was a little bit too um, annoying, but they, they could have just balanced it. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention, the big hits. The big hits in this game are pretty fun, but they don't actually do anything. And that's one thing um, that Rugby League Live 4 did well, is the big hits are harder to pull off 
but they you can cause a, a drop ball and knock on so that's one way I guess that they, they can knock it on um, but the, the one thing <coughs> I find <laughs> the one thing I find a bit annoying in rugby league life 4 is they they made the big hits way too um, they made them way too infrequent uh, on release like they were probably too frequent but that's a, another thing where big end sort of just takes it in the very opposite direction where they basically just got it rid of <coughs> Excuse me, sinking my throat again, but they basically just took it out of the game. Like, you can still do a big hit, but it's so infrequent that it's it's sort of not even a factor anymore, which is disappointing because it was, in my opinion, one of the, the better aspects of the game. Um, they just needed to tune it like slightly. They they could have they could have done it, but yeah. Um, in this game, the big hits literally do nothing. They just drain your stamina, but it looks cool, I guess. <laughs> as uh, Teddy is going to score, so we're going to go up by uh, 10 points to nil, a little flop offload out the back, um, I actually probably, <clears throat> geez, I'm going to cough again there, my thing's just stuck in my throat, but um, I, I know I keep, I, I keep uh, sort of bagging out regularly, I still, I still much prefer something, uh, Jesus Christ, there's <laughs> something in my throat, good lord, um, the uh, the gameplay is almost gone. I'm gonna freaking cough up the storm when I'm when I'm done. <laughs> but uh, the I do much like I do prefer rugby league life four for sure. But there's there's just some some good stuff about this game. But yeah, we do finally get a win. Or I mean, second game in we got a win, which is pretty good. The game is easier for sure. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.